So I'm just waiting now for Megan to come in to um, fit my system. So before I come up to H4HQ, I always clean my other system and I obviously clean my scalp and everything. So when I come up here, it's a little bit quicker rather mm -hmm. than leave uh, the hairdresser or wherever to do it. But so this is my, uh, this is me without my hair system. I always wear a hat when I've got a hair system. I think it's just like, I just don't like, I ate the look without a hair system on. I never thought before that I'd probably ate it so much, but use it without my without the hair system on. I did leave it overgrow when I come up here because when they do cut it, it's like more of a blend. It it, it goes it looks more natural then. Um because otherwise like I've, I have recently in the past, at the beginning, I've I've already cut my wife have cut it for me. But then obviously when I come up to have the system fitted, it's been way too short and that's not good then because the longer you leave it, it gives the the system more to blend in with. So I'll just show you now, um, right around what uh, what more my hair looks like without the system on. And then round to the back. So Megan have marked out where the system is going at the front. It's all been blended in, ready for the system. So she's gone to put tape now on the back of my system because you're on the back, I use tape, I do I find it easier. Um, I think it's easier to control when you're at home doing it. And um, at the front then I have the, the ghost bond uh, which is really strong for the front. So that's the, the tape I use for the back. And this is the glue I use for the front Ghost Bond XL. So that's my hair system by there and from the front to the back I use tape and then from by there to the front I use Ghost Bond glue which is strong for the front which is by there. And it's really uh, bonds well with the hair system to scalp. So Megan's going to start gluing the front of my head for the system. How many sort of layers do you put on? Is it just the one or the two? Two layers. Two. Yeah, I let it get clear in between each layer. What if we just do the one? Is it any difference or? You get a much stronger bond with two layers. If oh. you just on the one layer, it would bond. Yeah. But you might only get like you know, a couple of days or something out of it. Just it won't be as strong. All oh, right. And just wait for it to go clear, and then add another one straight on top. Yeah. So this is the second application going on. You said wait for it to dry clear then, then put it on in there. Yeah, so yeah. all of this section is the previous glue has gone nice and clear right at the front and we're just doing the second layer just on top of that glue in the same place. Yeah. So that's a tape I use at the back. Extender bond. What's it called? Exten Extender bond. Extender bond. Yeah. So every piece you put on, obviously, you said you overlap it just a tiny bit. Yeah, slightly yeah. overlapped. And then just peel the backing off. Yeah. I might be good as that one day because it is perfectly to the edge, isn't it? <laughs> it's you can see that you do this, you know, day in, day yeah. out. <laughs> Get a bit OCD. Yeah. And then a good little tip if you use the back end, yep. you don't stick your fingers to the tape. Yeah, because I've done that and the tape comes off a bit then, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So then you can press your finger on that back end and support it at the same time. Oh, that's, yeah, that's a really good tip, that is, yeah. Yeah. Just makes your life a little bit easier. Fab. There we go. There we go. So I get you to sit back yeah, a bit. Yeah, so what's what, it a second day? So this is the second layer of glue's gone on. Um, it's all gone nice and clear. So now we're going to do an attack the attachment. 
So if I get you to pop your head up for me, that's it. So we just tap it to find the edge of the glue. I've docked me up lovely. And then we just stretch the system on controlling it all the way back. And then put your head down for me, perfect. So even if you know tight it is secure, isn't it? Feels nice and secure. Well, I say that I don't know, I don't wear one. But yeah, everyone yeah. always says it feels nice and secure after yeah, this point. Really, really strong. And then we just pop a towel over and just press nice and firmly, support the front and press the back. The same on the front, just for that extra bit of security. Yep. And then, we lift the front up. And then we just go around the edge and just tap that edge in just to make sure that most of it's down. And then you've got that hairline. What you do is then just tap it down with like tweezers. So just tweezers, yeah. yeah okay. uh, tweezers and I use the back of it. Yeah. So that side and just like that. Yeah, so you don't want to use your fingers because your fingers are the oils. Yeah. But it's the oils from your finger mainly. Right. So any oils on the front will cause the front to lift quicker. Oh, so right. if you use tweezers or anything really that's not going to catch the lace, then you're absolutely fine. You get a nice long hold out of it as well. Yeah. We always use the cutthroat to do all the blending. What's that? We always use the cutthroat really oh, right, to do okay. all the blending. It blends in, it keeps it nice, nice and finished, it nice and blending. Yeah, it stops it being so black and it just makes it look extremely natural. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, it's really nice. Feeling more normal now. Yeah. <laughs> more myself. Lovely smell in that conditioner spray now. It is. It's so nice to see all conditioner. I'm just being like extra careful as well not to get on the roots. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. It makes a big uh, difference, with it? Yeah, the leave-on conditioner definitely. Um, we. <laughs> It's very really hard to explain to someone because you might not feel the difference if you're using it yourself every single day from day one. Yeah. But as a stylist, we can tell the difference. Yeah, when you're doing it. From, yeah, a client that doesn't use one and the client that does use the leave-on conditioner. It's a massive yeah. difference. Yeah. Whereas, like, obviously, if you do it all the time anyway, you probably don't notice a difference as yeah. such. Much wet to wet, like is it? Yeah, because obviously baby wipes have oils in them, oh, yeah. so I'm being like super careful not to touch the edge of the lace because the yeah. hair is it's, it's soaking up. Yeah, the hair isn't on the lace, it's just the little bits that have fallen down at the moment. Yeah, but when you've got that grime line, you just need to be really careful not to get too much right. oil on it. Yeah, but they are a lifesaver. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they are definitely. I never feel saying, oh, these would be a best friend, no one. Yeah. You didn't like <laughs> Just stock up on them. Yep. So it's got no product in at the moment. Awesome job, thank you. <laughs>